Hello, my name is Hans Peter Arp. And my name is Sabna Mahat. And we're here uh, in the lab and we want to talk about microplastic fibers. Now, plastic fibers are a special type of microplastic. They're very common to make clothes and, and very many other items. And what researchers studying microplastics in the ocean have found are that microplastic fibers are one of the most typically occurring fibers below the ocean surface. So they're actually deep in the water, but it's not so clear how it gets there. Um, so we're going to do a little demonstration to maybe explain why uh, fibers can be below the ocean surface. Now, uh, Sabnam, she has uh, a sample of polyethylene. Maybe you can talk a little bit about it. Yeah, uh, polyethylene fibers have a density of 0 0.9 and the seawater has a density of uh, 1.03. Yes, so we expect that once we put the fibers in the water here, they should float. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. On my safety glasses. Hello? Yeah. So as you can see clearly here, the, the fibers are floating near the surface, or actually a little bit below the surface. Now what we're going to do next is introduce a small amount of turbulence, just like a, like a current or a, a wave motion. Uh, so this can actually, we can, this has a propeller at the bottom, so we're going to start spinning it and see what happens. So what's starting to happen now is the current is starting to take the fibers down below the surface. I don't know if you can see this now, but now the fibers have kind of homogeneously distributed over the entire depth of this column. Even though these are less dense than water, just a little bit of motion can keep them under the ocean surface for a very long time. And now about uh, 10 minutes have passed by since we turned off the propeller. And you can see the fibers are now very stationary. They're not moving. What they're doing now is going on a very, very slow journey up to the top of the surface again.